guys, hey guys, this is Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode on the Pixel League server. Man, that looks painful. Like, my neck is literally at a 90 degree angle when I do that. Uh, anyway, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, last episode was an interesting one. Some of you guys liked it, some of you didn't. It, oh, gosh, right into the Rayquaza spam. Uh... I enjoyed it. I would like to be able to do more episodes like that, but I realized that it's not the most exciting episode. We didn't, I mean, I built something that I thought was awesome, but uh, in terms of like actually doing things for Pokemon, we did not do a whole lot of things for Pokemon. So for those of you who didn't like the episode last time, I apologize. I hope you'll like this one a little bit better. I got a lot of people who noticed that I got a protect item. I don't have it on me, but it was one of these kind of items that is a, it's a protect item apparently. And you can use those, ugh, stupid brick cause spam, you can use those to level up Rhyhorns. And so I thought I would come over here and grab one, and there's a bunch of them here. At least this is where they tend to spawn, so I'm pretty sure that this is what they are, right? Rhyhorns, yes. So we're gonna catch, these two are gonna kill each other. Uh, oh, you're so cute. I don't think I have an air on either. So I think what I'm gonna do today is try to catch a couple Pokemon and the the top one on the list is these guys this poor little one is gonna probably die i i don't know if i want a big one or a little one i mean this is the one that's gonna win oh and now we're in a fight with him so i guess you are the chosen one now i put uh i put acris acris back on the bar because i wanted she's got false swipe so i figured we could use false swipe to take him down really low and that'll help us catch him right I haven't used false swipe in a while, but this should work. Uh, I'm just going to keep using it because I don't want to overpower him. He may... I don't think he's going to be able to take me out. So we're just going to take him down using false swipe a couple times. We'll capture him. And we'll eventually get back to my base and we'll give him the protect item. And he should be able to level up with that. Oops, I don't know why I switched out to Lilith. That is... That's what happens when... <laughs> <laughs> when you try to when you try to play and commentate at the same time no go back fight it's false swipe so yes so we're gonna do that and maybe we'll catch some other pokemon okay so see now we've got now if i used it again would it just not it would just take him down to at least one H hp so he would never ever die it's kind of an interesting thing anyway we're, we're gonna try to catch this guy and i wouldn't mind getting an Aaron. uh i've seen them around and i haven't caught one before and they're pretty cute so I might do that. Oh, and we also got to check out that Rotata that we caught last episode and see if it's a pygmy. Oh, that was easy. Sweet. So here he is. Miss America. Not the most attractive of looking guys, although a little bit more interesting when, you're, when, when you actually own it and you can look at him a little closer. So it's a dude. Let's see what his information is. Summary. He's ground in rock. His moves are Horn Attack, Tail with Fury Attack, and Rock Blast. And he's a serious nature guy. Interesting. And an enormous growth. Ooh, that'll be fun. So he should grow up into be a really big guy. Let's, uh... Let's go downstairs and check out that... We're just gonna borrow, um, Miola's... Miola's actually on today. Look. And we got some new guys, too. The H-Bomb and Grasser MC are both new to the server. I don't know them. I've never met them. I don't know their channels. They're friends of... <laughs> There's a Ghastly down here. Yes. Oh, and a Graveler. Uh, they're friends of, I want to say, Patience or Terrace or something. I don't really know who they are, but... Hello, welcome to you, to the, the series. Uh, I'm sure that they'll they'll be added to the, the roster soon enough if they haven't already been done... Already been added. Just get these guys out of here. Lava Plume. Still trying to level my dudes up. Haven't gotten very far with a couple of them. Let's pop in here. Let's switch out her for... Where is the Rattata? Is this the new one that we got? I think that's the new one. Uh, summary. Runt. Okay, so that is a Runt. Is this the same one or is this a different one? Because we did have another one. Did I keep that one or did I delete that one? Okay, so there's another one. So let's put this one here. Let's put this one here. Is this the one? Aha! We did get a Pygmy Rattata. Sweet. Let's keep... Wait, let's see what else information. Level 18. So that's a lot better. Um, jolly nature. Interesting. Pygmy. 
Tackle, Focus Energy, blah, blah, Pursuit, Hyperfang. Interesting. And now a lot of you said that I could put an Everstone on him, or her, her, uh, to keep her from evolving. So we might do that as well. I just want to, I want to go upstairs real quick and, and shoot her out. Shoot her out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. How do I jump? There we go. <laughs> I know how to jump in this game. Ah, this is so tiny. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So I, I don't want to play with her right now because I, I don't want her to level up. I mean, I can always cancel the evolution every time it pops up, I guess. But I want to, I want to put her away. We'll have to come up. Okay, so the next one we have to name. We have to name her. You guys come up with a cute name for my super tiny, tiny, tiny Rattata. Let's put him here and let's put him here. And let's level him up a little bit. And let's go look for... Let's find ourselves an Aeron. And you guys want me to get a Golet, which also spawns out here. And there's probably some other stuff that you guys want me to catch, but... Uh, I've already got a Why Not. Eventually, eventually I will try to catch all of them, I think. Just because that seems like the thing to do. I, sh I used to carry around the Pokédeck with me, and I don't do that anymore. I should do that some more. Uh, I'm going to wander around until I find an Aeron and a Golet, and I will bring you guys back. Found a uh, Golet. I think he's in a fight with this Scropey or the Lunatone. Who is he fighting? Oh, he's fighting the Scropey. So he's level 34. The Scropey's about dead. So that's... Oh, good. He, he initiated battle with us. Sweet. So let us... Oh, I didn't keep... I should have kept... We may have to go back and put Aircris on because I don't want to kill him. Let's switch over to the Rhyhorn. We should put, actually, some sort of uh, XP share on him. No effect, huh? By the way, uh, there is some guy outside like weed whacking and mowing the lawn and stuff and so i apologize if you hear that in the background okay that's not doing the damage that i wanted to do let's switch over to our eevee i've been training the eevee just kind of hoping to get i don't know if i should train a, a normal level eevee or not uh you guys haven't really told me if i should do that or not so uh it's got such crap attacks i i just got the uh, oh the bite works at least i just got this covet one which sounds kind of cool if you use it it'll take the the held oh and now here's an airplane overhead i apologize if you hear that too uh it's so loud it, it's supposed to take the held item from the other player now obviously that's not gonna work on i mean i don't think it's gonna work on a regular pokemon because they're not holding anything right yeah it had no effect but like if i was fighting another player and they had like an XP share. I think it would technically take their XP share or whatever. So that's kind of a dick mood, but kind of cool too. So I don't know. We're going to keep biting. Hopefully we get them down. Okay, we're at least in the yellow now. At least this one's not going to kill him. Oh yeah, he's going to probably take me out. But we might be able to get one more bite in. At least this way he might be easier to capture. Uh, let's bust out Enceladus. I should probably take Enceladus off because I don't want him to get too high, much higher off after 60. I want to get my entire EV team to level 60, uh, at least the ones that aren't already way past that, because I want to fight Dire Dwarf in his Frost Gym, and uh, his level is... he wants them to be about level 60, and so he's level 61, so if he gets any higher than that, I don't want him to, like, graduate out of that sphere. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to catch his Golette, though. And then we're going to go look for an Aeron, and we already got... Oh, good, we got him. Sweet. Uh, we should probably go back to the main area and switch out to get Acris back on. Oh, no, wait, here's an here's an Aeron. All right, let's try this. Let's see if we can get him. Level 17. Oh, how did I... Uh-oh. Now I'm concerned that the Golet replaced something, because I don't think I had a slot for a Golet to... Hmm. I don't think I had a slot for a Golet to, to be on, so who did he replace? Did he replace Enceladus? Because if he did, I'm not going to be a happy man. Alright, that's at least good. Um, bag. So this is part of the reason why I haven't bagged or caught a lot of Pokemon, because... The dang game is so glitchy. 
we'll see. Let's hope that that didn't happen. You guys probably already saw it happen or have paused the video and scrolled back and no, please don't have taken. Okay, well at least we caught him. Okay, I'm really confused now because I don't see him on my bar. Wait a second. Okay, you're there. <laughs> I threw you way out there, you're there. Okay. Evie is unconscious, okay. Okay. Aha! So the Golette replaced my Rhyhorn, is that what happened? If that's the case, that sucks, but I am not as angry as I could be because I just got him and therefore could easily, like I had no attachment and could easily replace him, but uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way back over to that PC and we're gonna see what's going on. Yep. So that as soon as I open the PC, he transformed into a Golette. Let's see, is the Rhydon anywhere in my PC? Or the Rhyhorn? I am not. That's the Aeron that we just caught. By the way, I still haven't decided on a name for the Aerodactyl. I got a lot of a lot of suggestions. Okay, wait. I see another Aeron up here. Did I already have an Aeron? I may have already owned an Aeron. Or did it somehow duplicate itself? Runt relaxed. Okay. What is this? Wait, what is this one then? Stats. Lonely and huge. So I must have already had one and caught a second one. Oops! I didn't notice the little button or the little thing saying I already had one. Okay, let's just double check. I'm not seeing an a Rhydon. A Rhyhorn. No Rhyhorn, no Rhyhorn, Rhyhorn, Rhyhorn. There's the another golette did i already have a golette too what the heck modest and ordinary i'm gonna have to check the footage again i guess to make sure that uh happiness 71 wow to make sure that i already had it i didn't think i already had caught one this is interesting okay well we need to go catch ourselves another ride on uh that kind of sucks but we can we can do this it's not too bad uh we'll find one and bring you guys back well i guess i found one <laughs> We've got the level 30 and the level 21. This guy looks a little lonelier, so we're going to grab him. Hey, come back here. Oh, I didn't switch out with the dang Acris either, but that's fine. That's fine. We can fight him. We'll use a faint... Oh, this will probably kill him, isn't it? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Bag, Pokeball. I mean, we did waste an, uh, a Dusk Ball on catching that one, but I guess I don't care. I mean, it's just a Dusk Ball. Those are pretty easy to make. And I have tons of Apricorn and tons of iron, so I'm not worried about that. The The biggest complaint there is that it takes a while to hammer them out, and that's not that bad. Woohoo, we got them! Okay, so <laughs> hopefully this time we don't also immediately lose him. Uh, let's see. I can't even tell if... Okay, so it's a boy. It's hard to tell, but I can see the little male symbol. Uh, let's look at... Yeah, oh, we could do it that way too. Cool. Summary. Moves are Horn Attack, Tail Whip, Fury Attack, and Scary Face. Oh, good. It's another Enormous Growth, and it's a Tibid Nature. Cool. So, now I'm going to head back home, I think. I'm sad that we didn't run into any bosses while we were out here, because that would have been a little bit fun. Look, there's a Golette right there. Is that a super tiny... Wow. That is a Pygmy Mill Tank. That Pygmy Mill Tank is sadly going to be killed. But if it if it wasn't going to be killed, I would be tempted to catch it just because I don't know that I've ever seen a, a pygmy mill tank. I don't, I mean, I like that they fight each other, but it annoys me too because if this was a shiny or something, I would be really, really upset because I couldn't catch it, you know? I always look into the water, make sure there's no hidden bosses in the water. Yeah, poor little cow is going to die. Anyway, I'm going to head back home. In fact, we're going we're gonna to head home the easy way using their portal system. And we're going to add an Everstone to our Rattata, rat, 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 Rattata, Rattata, and we're going to add uh, the Protect to our Rhyhorn, and maybe we're going to try to level him up. Ah, uh, home sweet home. So I've already switched out the Pokemon. Let's open up my chest of magical devices. Here is an Everstone. I actually have two of them, so that's pretty cool. And what is the other one? A Protect, we said? Upgrade Protector. Is that what it is? A Protector? Or was it a protect? Razor Fang, Shell Bell, King's Rock, Revive, Wide Lens, 
I still haven't figured out all of the orb things, and I even looked around for... So it must be this protect. So we'll put that on him, and we'll put that on there, and everybody else is pretty good. We got a bunch of junk in our inventory from our trek. I haven't been home since uh, last episode, actually, so let's put all this stuff away. Um, I was saying something, and I got some snow, too. That's kind of nice. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. Well, I haven't been home, that's for sure. Uh, we got lots of stuff to put away up here. And, oh, we've got stuff in our ender chest as well, I believe. Yes, because I went, I did a little bit of caving and we can put Sagan away. Uh, you know what? This episode is episode 50. That's pretty crazy, right? Episode 50. That means that I've been making a daily episode on this series for 50 days. Every single day, I've made an episode. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've never done that before. It's it's a lot of work. It's very stressful at times because, uh, especially the way that I do it, is I record it the day before it goes up. So it means that I have to be home every day long enough to do something and record it. So if I go to, out of town for a week and like you end up getting kind of weird episodes where they're out of sync or something like when I was at that convention and stuff. So let's start leveling up our Rhyhorn while I talk to you guys. And, and so that, you know, it's just kind of weird, um, but cool too. I'm, I'm very glad that I've done it and hopefully it will continue to do. Uh, I don't know if I will forever be able to keep up a daily series, but at, at present I would like to. Man, this kind of sucks. Do you have to have... Hmm. Because, like, it would be nice to put a an experience share on him right now and then just destroy... You know what I should do? Okay, let's, let's finish this guy. What I want to do is uh, I will put an experience share on him. Well, at least I'll get my Glaceon back out and I will use my Glaceon to do a lot of, of this leveling. I'll, I'll attack with him and then I'll switch to the Glaceon so he'll get experience as well uh, because it'll go a lot faster than this even though he might get a little bit more experience that way. Everybody else is going to get, you know, and I should take the X. Well, if we do it with the Glaceon, it won't be as bad. So let's jump down here and switch. Actually, we don't need to jump down there. We've got a PC machine up in here. Up here. So let's see. Who do we want to sw swap out? Um, Glaceon is over here. No, that's not where the Glaceon is. Where's my Glaceon? Oh, wait. There he is. I saw him. You go here. Let's put you over. Let's put you up here. My, my, these are my shinies. These are my Eevees. Uh, let's swap out Flareon. Wait, what level are what level is everybody? 53, 51, and 51. So they, I do want them all to level up. Let's actually swap out my regular Eevee. I wanted to level that one up eventually, but in terms of like getting everyone ready for a fight with Dire Dwarf, uh, I don't really want so. Um, hmm, I put the XP share is still on the Eevee though, isn't it? Let's swap this out real quick. Let's take this off of you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 50 episodes is pretty awesome. I'm really happy and excited about that. And I want to thank all of you guys, especially for... And I will switch back to the Protector when he looks like he's about to level up. Uh, so 50 episodes, let's, that sounds like a good episode to have another Q&A session. So in the comments of this video, leave any questions that you guys would like me to answer in a future Q&A answering question session. I'm going to tentatively plan to release that episode on March 14th, which is also known as Pi Day because it's 3.14. <laughs> and I'm a nerd, so I enjoy that sort of thing. Uh, so... Leave me some questions to answer for that in the comments of this video. It can be anything. Uh, I may not be able to get to all of them because there are a lot of you and a lot of questions, but hopefully if you ask a uniquely interesting one that I haven't answered already, uh, there's a fair... Oh, let's send out the Glaceon. There's a fair... No, wait. Let, no, that's what we want to do. We want to send out him and then switch to the Glaceon. There's a fair chance that you will ask something that I haven't answered and you'll get to have your name said on camera and... Glaceon. I, and you'll get to learn some new thing about me. So go for it, and I'm going to do some leveling, and I will bring you guys back, hopefully, at some point when 
uh, the Rhyhorn is ready to evolve. Okay, I just got into a fight with a Dewat, which I have never seen before, and it's like right in front of my house. I don't know if this is an evolution of something that I'm not familiar with, like, it kind of looks like it might be a Sphinx, but not as cute. I don't know, but we're gonna... Wait, yeah, I don't... Whatever it is, I don't have one, so I'm gonna try to catch it. Um, should we attack it? Level 24, I don't want to kill it, so let's just try to catch it. And you guys can tell, I mean, I guess I could type, I could look it up and see what it is, but it's more fun to me to talk to you guys and just try to catch it. So, water sport. Interesting. Let's, let's, why did I hit last resort? I didn't mean to use that anyway. Um, let's just try to bag it a couple more times. I'll bring you guys back uh, when I catch it. Got him! And look, there's a Shinx up in my face, and I do have a Shinx already. I looked it up while I was fighting just to make sure that it wasn't something that I already had, and apparently it is not. It is something that I've never seen before. I don't know if it's rare or if I've just not seen one before, but I haven't seen it. I also looked up the Rhyhorn guy, and apparently at level 42 he evolves into a Rhydon, and then at... I think it was... Maybe it... I don't know. It, it like, levels up like, we're, we're one evolution away. Like, I technically, I should have caught a Rhyhorn, I guess. Or a Rhydon instead, because... That's unusual looking. Uh, basically because I am one... I'm one evolution away from it evolving into the next thing. So it's gonna take a while. I got a Rayquaza! Well, I mean, we're gonna fight him for the XP. I had to pillar up to aggro him, but this should be good XP. I, I initiated it with... The Rhyhorn and Callisto switched over to Callisto. Super effective, gone. Rhyhorn is going to level 27, 28. Sweet, sweet. Uh, I didn't have very many good blocks to pillar up with. As you can see, there's a bajillion, <laughs> bajillion Rayquaza in the area, and everybody's the new guys are like, "Holy cow! All these Rayquaza!" Yeah, yeah, it's a glitch, dudes. We need to get good old Dylan to fix it for us. Anyway, I, I looked up again, so he's gonna level up to a Rhyhorn, a Rhydon. He's a Rhyhorn. He will level up to a Rhydon at level 42, and then all we have to do is trade him. So, uh, it's not gonna be a... I mean, it might take a little bit to get to there, but I think we can do it. I think... Ooh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude. I think I can do it. Uh, I'm pretty good at leveling, especially if we can hit a couple more Rayquaza like that. So I will, I will do some more leveling off camera. Hopefully we'll find a boss or two to also speed this up. And I'll bring you guys back as you do. This is pretty much the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look, this tiny, tiny little Plusle, this tiny little Pichu, and this tiny little Nidoran female. They're like, on a journey together. So cute. Look at it. How do you have a level 30, 45 Pichu anyway? When did they level up? How does that work? Shouldn't he be like a Raichu at this point? Am I confused as to the levels of how these things work? Anyway, we're gonna kill him, and we're gonna take his levels, and 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 we're at level 37, so we're almost there, and then I'm gonna have to find someone. Sorry, Pichu. You were so cute. I destroyed you in your adventure. Uh, we're gonna have to find someone. Maybe Whipper. Maybe I'll have to ask someone else if they can get on and help me level my guy, or to trade my guy once we get there. But we still got a few levels to go. Hey, look, a boss! Sweet! And it looks like maybe they have fixed it so that the Fero bosses don't fly away as much. Of course, that doesn't help if we still can't aggro him. He's at that tree height right there. Oh, come on! Really, bosses should just aggro. You should just be able to aggro. As soon as you touch a boss, it should aggro. There we go. Come on. Come on! There we go. Okay, now we're definitely switching out to Callisto, though, because we don't want to... 108. That should give us some nice experience. And it'll be good for Callisto, too. Oh, one hit. Sweet. Rhyhorn, level 38. And... Orb. Max Elixir. Power Anklet. Max Potion. Nothing terribly exciting, but some good exper XP. Any, Ry Any Rayquaza in the area wanna wanna fight me, bros? We might have to see if we can catch another one of them. We're really close. Here we go. We're leveling up. One, two, three. Let's rock. Uh, 
unfortunately, hardly anybody is online right now, so I don't know who we're going to get to come on and help us evolve him, but... Yay! Level 42! We did it! We did it! Dun -da -da. Your right horn evolved into a right on! And we got a hammer arm. The user swings and hits its strong and heavy... Hits with its strong and heavy fist. It lowers the user's speed, however. Ah, uh, this is one of those cases where I don't know. This one can do two to five attacks, so that could give us up to 125. So that seems like a decent one to keep. The user, the target is jabbed repeatedly with a horn or a beak two to five times in a row, so that's a very similar thing, but not near, the, it, this one is not as, this is only 15 times five, this is 25 times five. Chip away, looking for an opening, the user can, strikes continually. The, the target stats don't, stat changes don't affect this attack's damage and take down a reckless full body charge attack for slamming into the target it also damages the user a little hmm this one is only power 70 let's let's replace fury attack don't get too upset with me for that I'm probably not gonna use this particular Pokemon a whole lot in game I see a lot of these pillars I wonder if somebody is using these as markers to build stuff or if this is somebody who, who is trying to fight a Rayquaza pillaring up like I've done, but then being slob and not actually taking it back down. One does not know. Anyway, the only person online right now is Whipper, so I'm going to see if I can get him or someone else to come on so that we can tri- Ooh, wait, is this a boss? Oh no, that's Electric Kid. I thought it was a, a gold uh, Krabby. Anyway, I'm going to head back home and I'm going to see if I can get someone to come on and trade with me. And there's Pwnstar for hire on his shiny Firo. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What are you doing to that poor Persian? <laughs> hey, guy. Trade machine is this way. Up here, dude. There's the trade machine. Sawit. All right. And so the guy has got his... I put the thing on him. There he goes. Oh, and hey, I'm, I guess I'm evolving his Graveler. <laughs> uh, I can't type while it's happening. That's funny. Well, that was clever of him to... <laughs> I hope he wanted this to evolve. I'm assuming that was the idea. What does a Graveler even evolve into? What is this? A Golem. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'll put it back in. Here you go, dude. Sweet! Thanks! Thanks, man. <laughs> Whoa, look at the size of this! Holy cow, this thing is too big for this room. Wow. Wait. That's so big. It's too big for that little room. He's too big for that little room. <laughs> look at the size of him! Holy cow! Holy cow! Oh, and look, there's a, a Bosch giraffe rig up there. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Oh, oh, he got it. Oh, maybe he didn't get it. He just disconnected. Can we get it? Oh, really? Really? Wait, let's let's switch over to Callisto. Callisto seems to get better height. Really? Really? Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go up this way. Do that. Bam! <laughs> In the butt! Take you out, Giraffe Rig. I've never seen a boss Giraffe Rig, I don't think. Oh, you survived an ice blast to the face. Let's take another ice blast. You didn't survive a second one. Oh, I thought that was a Master Ball for a second. Repeat Ball, Swagger, Solar Beam, and Focus Blast. Sweet, what a great way to end the episode. Oh, and look, there's the painting that must have gotten knocked off. Good old Pwn Star returned it for us. Thank you, man. He, I guess he had somewhere to go or something to do. But that's awesome. Let's oh, let's get this insane looking guy back out. What a guy. What a guy. Wow. I want to get in front of him. What a guy. Dang. That is a massive looking dude. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you guys for telling me to do that because I don't know that I would have ever thought about that because, yeah, what a guy. Uh, let's see if we can get a nice screenshot and we can sign off with... You know, the way that we do, F5, F5, 
Uh, he, he's so big, I can't even... Hey, guy. <laughs> I can't get him on camera with me. Uh, anyway, thank you guys, as always, for watching. My name is Vaughn, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!